<laughs> All right, well, have you always wanted to be your own boss? Be an entrepreneur, but you don't want to take the risk of quitting your job. Well, today, how to take control of your career without even leaving work. The new word for that is intrapreneur. It's about having the attitude of an entrepreneur without the risks. Ruth Valoria is the Executive Dean of University of Phoenix School of Business. Hi, Ruth. Hello there, good morning. Good morning to you. Let's talk about this. Never heard this term before. So a lot of us are familiar with being an entrepreneur, being your own boss, having your own business. What is an uh, intrapreneur? So an entrepreneur does those same things, but does them within their organization. So really takes advantage of the capital, the assets and resources within the organization to get that business up and running uh, internally, perhaps take advantage of the brand name. So did you know that the Frappuccino, the big Starbucks drink, was actually developed by a Starbucks intrapreneur, a lady from Southern California, found a space in the market, developed a product plan, sold it all the way up to her organization, and now of course has created a massive business inside Starbucks. So lots of great examples for how you can build growth from the inside, don't necessarily have to leave. I like that example, that, that it makes it so easy to understand. And I wonder if you're looking for a job or you're wondering if you're, the company you currently work for, how can you tell mm -hmm. that the culture is such that they might welcome an entrepreneur? Well, I think first of all, you're gonna look for signs that the company really listens to customers, really is close to them, knows what your product gaps and service gaps are and therefore is sort of always looking for that new idea to grow the business. And secondly, do they um, allow people to spend a bit of extra time on their own ideas? So Google, for example, very famous example, gives uh, their employees 20% of their time to develop new products, and that's where Gmail came from. That is a product of a Google intrapreneur. And what happens to people who maybe start something that doesn't work out so well, does the organization let them fail forward, take it as a badge of honor, know that they've learned better for next time, or do they kind of you know, slide them off to the side? Of course, not every business idea is going to be successful, so you want to make sure that your organization does a great job of appreciating valuing failure, which sometimes is an important precursor to success. And I would add to that, it's important to work for someone, your boss, who's not a no person. If they're at least willing to hear you out, I think that's a good step. And along those lines, what do you think is a good way to develop a game plan if you're interested in being more entrepreneurial in your own company? So, you know, first off, I would really look at your industry, the business that you're in, what are those opportunities? Get familiar with those. Then start getting yourself involved in projects that might give you more exposure to those customers or to a new skill like a project management or communication skills. So build your own internal skills and then put together that business plan. And maybe your boss is that no person, but if they are, perhaps you want to keep taking it up a few notches. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but at Microsoft there was a lady who went into Bill Gates' office with two letters in her hand. One was a letter of resignation, the other a business plan for a new education business at Microsoft, which is now one of their most successful ones. So you can see how that story panned out for her. So don't take no for an answer the first time. Make sure you're really pitching it at the right level in the organization. You might be surprised. And what about improving your career or growing in your skills while still working on the job? Yeah, so really important, again, to take those project ideas internally, but in addition, you do a little skills inventory of yourself. Do you have the leadership skills, the communication, the business plan basics? If not, you don't necessarily have to commit to a full master's degree or bachelor's degree in business. Great professional development courses available today to just take off a bite-sized piece of the education. We have plenty of those at University of Phoenix. And in addition to those education pieces, is there a local nonprofit in your community? So Wonderful. You know, lots of great ways to get started. Absolutely. We ran out of time. Thank you so much for the wonderful tips.